Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's tarot for Monday the 15th of April 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube called Psychic Cafe. Come along for a coffee, chat, cards, play with cards. I do various things in there, but one of the things that I do is give one question readings. You can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, BeHealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. You can book in at any time for those. Um, I also offer private readings from my website, BeHealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. And I get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them, often within 24 hours. Now, there's two ways in which to win one of those private readings with me every single month. The first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video, then leaving a comment. That'll get you one entry in. Do that as many times as you like on all my videos throughout the month, including the shorts, and that'll get you many entries in. Um, the second way is by checking out my picker card reads. If you purchase the deeper dives, those extended readings to the picker card reads, that'll get you entered into the second draw. So good luck with winning those. Now, what's in the energies for everybody today? We've got a passionate day but time to walk alone doing something by yourself that you're passionate about perhaps or it could be break up kind of an energy that as well it could be pulling away from something or someone that you've been passionate about in order to walk alone for a while told to take the first and the last one from that tending the garden and mischief okay so there's something mischievous something Perhaps someone leading you astray or a part of you that wants to be tenacious in something that you've been passionate about, even though it's not good for you. And this is saying this is the time to walk alone kind of thing, turn in the garden. It's much better for you to um, just sort things out in your life. It's a bit of a warning today not to go for the stuff you're passionate about because there's a bit of a twist. But we know sometimes when we're pushing it, when we're not going with the flow, where we're trying to make something happen, but you're perhaps being passive aggressive about it or perhaps purely aggressive about it or, you know, it, there's that urge sometimes to get our own way and that's the mischief in us and when it's really not what's best for us at all. So if you, if you have been trying to make something happen, uh, I think this message is saying like back off from it. Journey, half the treasure, is the journey on the path to finding it. I feel like there's something much better for you. Tell us more. Tara, what's going on? What is this all about? I I often get that, not often, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to say this to, or I want to message that this person that thing, and I can tell it's me trying to be passive aggressive about it just to kind of prove a point or whatever. And I'm not going to do it because I don't want to feel that side of myself. Might be pulling yourself up for something like that. Five of Pentacles could be feeling alone, feeling left out, feeling like... Yeah, it could be this feeling like I want to be involved in this or get it to work out even though it's not. And so I want to like, be mis mischievous about it because it doesn't feel good to be left out of it. But it's actually better for you to be left out of it. Three of Pentacles is about learning, teaching, learning. Tell us more. The Hanged Man changing our minds and or turning our minds around could, could be quite challenging. Our minds could be quite challenging. We could be quite challenging today. You could be challenging yourself today like the internal toddler. Is causing you trouble today and the empress knowing what we deserve and self-esteem self-worth all of that good stuff challenging stuff though sometimes the five of pentacles so here you are feeling left out and then there's this little devil on your shoulder going i know what will make you not feel left out if we push this person around or say that to that person you know three of materials yeah ace of materials Okay, three of materials is about collaborations with other people, planning with other people, and ace of materials, a big, a big offer for the long term. It feels to me like this is saying, feeling left out, it, it wasn't a big thing anyway. It wasn't something that was going to stick around in your life for the long term anyway. Um, a, col a collaboration or some, someone that isn't right for you. I think all of these cards are kind of leading to 
the remedy for this. There's anger behind that. It's like, yeah, but they're making me angry and they should they should want it be, to be right for me. Like, they should think that I'm right for them even though it's not right for me. It, you know, there's that feeling here that it's just like, this isn't in the flow and the internal toddler isn't right. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, learning and teaching to bide our time just to temper ourselves and to not cave in to the inner toddler. And you and Ots get that. Like, I know my family was very passive aggressive. It was just one of their things, you know? And, and I can look back and see how I used to use it all the time. Now I really notice it in other people because I, I became aware of it in myself. I don't like being like that. And so I stopped being like that. But I do have that tendency. And so when it comes up, as I said, I do notice it and go, oh, that internal toddler wants to be passive aggressive, but it's just, it's barely disguised aggression, really. Three of Pentacles, Temperance, what's behind that is masculine energy, doing something about it. Okay, so when these things come up, why is the internal toddler, the, the inner toddler feeling that way, the anger, the frustration, all of that? It's because something needs to change, right? And it's not changing this particular circumstance to make it right for us that's not the change that's required the change that's required comes from this hangman needing to change our minds about it our mindset about it you know i see this kind of an energy when people say like people that are single and they're looking for a partner and perhaps they keep on getting into short-term relationships and then lamenting when the other person breaks it off and them thinking like, I, but I was a good woman. You should have noticed that I was a good woman. And, you know, if, if you're not right for them, they're not right for you, then it's just not meant to be. And if it breaks up, it's not meant to be. And there's that, that mindset of like, but I was right for them and I'm a good woman. I was right for them. It's like, but you weren't, if they're not right for you and if it broke up, then it's, they're making a decision that you're not right for them right so that mindset of i even if it's like a, a job you know it's like i was the right person for that job well obviously not you know if things don't happen it's not meant to be now i'm not saying that we can't mess things up and you know we do need to be on that and learning as we go but the mindset of like, but I was right for this. It's, it's the internal toddler and it's not right. The night of materials, so, so take it slowly because the mindset shift might not be obvious. The mindset, the mindset shift that is best for you might not be obvious. So in other words, the internal toddler is going to come, come up with a mindset shift that is just another slightly less tantrum <laughs> version. So take your time in coming to a new mindset shift. So we're talking about a reframe here changes it will change in time yeah it will change in time so your mindset will change in time you don't necessarily need to figure out that mindset shift immediately today it will become clear like i just saw a fog you know dispersing and then it'll become clear it, it just takes time sometimes for that fog of uh emotional reaction to dissipate so that we can see things more clearly. The Empress, because you deserve better, girl. You deserve better. Oh boy. Man, woman. Six of materials, you deserve reciprocation, right? And if it's not reciprocated, then it's not right. It can't be right. It can't be right <laughs> if it's not reciprocated. It's not like I know what's right and everything's right for me and I'm right for everyone and everything. And, and But if they reject me, there's something wrong with them. It's like, no, nah, that's that's not true. People aren't that stupid. Queen of Emotions. Page of Voices. Interesting. Right. Page of Voices is about people unlooking. Queen of Emotions is about what you're receiving. Uh, I'm not getting a good energy from this page of voices. It's people that look on, perhaps from your past, that are like, you don't deserve that. People from your past perhaps still in your life, on looking about what it is that you're receiving and judging you about that. They don't know you as the Empress. They don't know you as this, the, all the work that you've been doing and all of that kind of stuff and the vibration that you've raised. They know the old you. And perhaps the old you didn't deserve certain things. 
But there's judgment here and the six of materials is about reciprocation. What's truly right for you will be reciprocated. But oh, this lurky energy here, I don't like that. We are affected by how other people perceive us and their energy toward us. If we let it, if we, if somehow they are still in our energy field, it could be a time, you know, to do a cord cutting, cut people out of your energy field. Uh, I do energy healings. You're welcome to book in for one of those on my website, behealing.com. If I remember, I'll pop a link for it in the description box below and also up there too. But cord cutting. So when I'm doing energy healings, there's often from our solar, or from your solar plex, solar plex is here. I see it like a silvery light cord and it goes to other people and it's when there's an emotional connection to other people. And sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes it's not. And anyway, it's more like, it's not your connection with people. It's not the connection with people. It's an emotionally charged connection to someone. So it's more like a neediness or something like that. It's, it's always good to cut these cords because they are attachments to people rather than connections with people. Yeah. And so often in energy healings, there'll be a bit of cord cutting work to do. And I feel that, that it's time for that here too, to do that. So do cord cutting, get yourself an energy healing and I'll see what else is in your field, energy field. Teaching and creativity is behind that too. So Empress, what you deserve, perhaps you're being creative, perhaps you're teaching and perhaps there's, perhaps you're worried about people in your past that are watching you receive things and feeling like you shouldn't be receiving things and because you've still got an energetic attachment to them and you care about what they think, it might be holding you back and it might be sullying all of this up. So there's, um, there's something to figure out here. Mm. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an, a cord cutting on myself as soon as I've clicked off this video because I feel like this is a message for me. Some of this is resonating with me. What about our love lives today? We've got embraced. Through each other you find the missing pieces. Hmm. Magical connection with someone is perhaps coming towards you if you haven't met them already cool your emotions yeah it could be a very emotional day today for sure no wonder the foxfire card came out Whew. security fear and fun so you might fear your security it might have something to do with these onlookers as well people that don't want the best for you have some fun Try have some fun. Try not to fear. Do cut cuttings. Try and cut bad people out of your life. Even if you cut the people out of your life, you might not have managed to completely get rid of those attachments. You've got responsiveness and bad attitude and heartbreak. Okay, so some people could be responsive to you, but they're not really your 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 people and you know that it's going to lead you to heartbreak if you say yes to that so you might be attracting those that just aren't right for you you need to know when someone isn't right for you and just kind of let let go of that because it's not true that we're only going to attract what is right for us we have to be discerning right we're going to attract all kinds of things especially if you're vibing high you're going to attract all kinds of things all kinds of people Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. We've got a career as well. You might be taking risks in your career. A camel, persevere and you will overcome these problems. And axe, there's forces working against you. Yeah, cord cutting, absolutely do a cord cutting. Now, think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. But it's just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag for a specific question that you've got or questions that you've got then you can book yourself in for a one question reading on my website behealing.com find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too if you've got many questions or you want something in a great detail and that's private then you might want to book in for a full private reading with me and you can add a reduced price energy healing on to that as well by the way find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too book yourself in 
how best to deal with these energies today we've got the queen of swords it's time to cut something out and i feel like it's that cord cutting message cut something out of your energy field all of it cut it all out we can't go wrong like even if we want to be attached to someone have a connection with someone if we cord cut it just cleans up the the, ne the negative attachments or po positive attachments sometimes it feels like it's a positive attachment when it's kind of neediness but yeah have better boundaries with yourself as well there's a reason that there's a, an inner toddler within us today there's there's something in that anger that needs to be listened to and it's got something to do with the cord cutting think of yes or no answer question now pause the video if you're not ready for your answer your answer is no don't do it there you go thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment that'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month i do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year i go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show as well come along sometime i'd love to meet you virtually and perhaps read for you and i make three love picker card reads a week as well you can find one of those right there right now watch that next if you want well have the best day ever i'll see you tomorrow bye